on a second. All right. Uh, maybe. Okay. Back to business. <gasps> Welcome back, you guys, to Let's Play Final Fantasy XV. In the last episode, uh, we came to Golden Key. We got uh, blackmailed into getting some uh, rough gems for a guy named Dino, who is a stereotypical reporter, I guess. Um, and we also fed a cat. <laughs> as silly as it sounds, it's true. And also, sorry, man, uh, that couple down there behind those trees is still playing in the water even after all day. Wow, it's weird. Anyways, so um, let's head out, shall we? We're gonna go to uh, we're gonna go to uh, grab these dumb gemstones. And oh, yeah, we've got enough gas. We'll be fine. All right, so we're gonna auto go to the quest location, aka where Dino wants us to go. a lot of possibility I will be cutting out a lot of this stuff if it's not super fast. Like, this is only, like, uh, it's about three minutes from here, I guess. Usually, I would just drive, but... Right your lack of dignity. You're one step above delivery, boy. The royal rank carries little weight outside the ground city. Glad it's not weighing you down. Yeah, there are some of these where they'll have, like, little mini-conversations in the car that I don't always like to miss. Which is the only reason why I will just, like, if the, if there's nothing going on, I'll probably cut to, like, the moments they talk or if I'm thinking something dumb and I just have to say things because things come out of my mouth pretty often. You guys know this. Also, for some of you guys who might be not be aware, yes, you can crash your car. There is a reason there is a toe button, by the way. All right. So... Refueling. Make sure you stop for gas before the tank runs dry, because that's another reason you could have to tow your car, and it's pretty awkward. All right, but yeah, we'll do we'll do that when we go back to Golden Key, because we're not even empty. We're not even close to empty yet. So, all right. But anyways, you sure we're in the right spot? According to the map, let's scope it out. All right. So we gotta find these gemstones for Dino. Um. Okay. So. Let's see, gotta go up here. Oh, I'm gonna pick up the... That's it! <laughs> what? Gotta come up with a new recipe. Gotta come up with a new recipe! I, I like Gladio's better. <laughs> I can test taste test it for ya. Please do. Alright, but anyways. Okay, it was this way then. Yeah. Okay. So, I'm gonna have to explain a few things. I guess while we're walking, I can explain a few things. One, there is a reason why this game is good, but yet it's not to the standard of a Final Fantasy game you'd want. Maybe. Oh. O-M-G. O-M-G. Pipe down before you wake it up. Okay, yeah. This, this big guy, we gotta walk around him. And yes, there's gonna be jump scares about this, by the way. Like that. This is why we're duck walking. This is why we're fluffing the duck right now. Yeah. I told you, that was... I remember the first time I played that, that scared the shit out of me. Alright, so we got our gemstones. Alright, so back we go. Slowly but surely. Oh, jeez. And it's a light. It's awake. Hi, friend. Hi. Uh, yeah. I went out. Get me out. Oh. <gasps> Holy do wow, that's a first? I- 
Did that thing really just like take all of my HP? Oh, we made it out alive. Barely. I seriously thought we were at journey's end. I've never seen that happen. I didn't really move around. My camera got confused, and it took like all of my HP except one. Wow. Oh, the color's amazing. I could almost say that was utter bullshit. I think I was supposed to get out of the way, but my camera wouldn't let me. That actually kind of makes me mad. <laughs> I didn't die, at least. That's a that, that's one of those scenes you can't die in, but... That actually kind of... No, that was not okay, guys. Very not cool, bird. It's like, just because you're a big giant bird thing does not mean you get to step on me. That's not very nice. I'm going to look back over the footage and see what happened, because, like... I tried to get my camera in order. I tried to move around it, but it kept confusing me because it was it was locked on the bird. Actually, first, there's some minerals over here. But yeah, so... I am going to have to just go into the next thing because it's going to be interesting. But one of the reasons you should do all of your... Uh, this will make a fine paint. Yeah, there's a reason you should do all of your... Uh, your uh things here now because the next part of the game adds the extra bullshit on top of things but i digress i can always come i'm always gonna come back and do more of these so it's not that big of a deal all right so yeah today because i know people are like probably gonna be like you were took six episodes to get through the first chapter oh well you want to know something if i had the opportunity you have no idea how fast I would not- I- you- you have no idea. I- I would in instantaneously be, like, I'd be doing all these quests before I ever touched anything. But yeah, like, I know for this game a lot of people don't care about the quests. So, like, I'll show you important ones, but I- I've already pretty much figured it out at this point. It's gonna be mainly story and, like, quests that are, like, startup quests. It is quite comforting to see other people about. Yeah, I know, right? Same. Alright, so let's fill up our bug, shall we? Fill up let's let's gas up the regalia. Yeah. Refuel the regalia. I've never seen a car that has the fuel tank in the front. I know, the regalia is all high tech ish and I will be pimping out my regalia to be the most ridiculous looking thing, by the way. I've done it before. I might try to recreate it, but make it better. But yeah, once I start getting more money, just just be you can be guaranteed it ain't gonna last very long where it's gonna be like, oh! Amazing or what? The yes. Quite refreshing. I wanna... I enjoy the seaside this much. Dude, well, I wanna... Sounds like it's made a good first impression. Yeah, I wanna go to the beach. I mean, look at how calm the water is in here. Like... It is not even moving. Like, that's, that's fucking awesome. I am gels. I am gels. <laughs> I can talk to cat. I can talk to spoiled cat. Alright, but anyways, it's time to go see Dino. Thanks, friend. Did Noctis go skateboarding? Or snowboarding? Or skateboarding? I don't know. Wait, what? <laughs> I don't know what that picture was, but that was beautiful. And now's a good point to not go and sleep, I guess, because we're gonna be kicking it up in the next. This next chapter is gonna be starting, so let's go. Yeah, hand over the stones to Dino. Nice work, kid. Sorry for giving you such a hard time. I just had to get my hands on this, even if it meant blackmail. You understand, don't you? You see, Anna. I'm a reporter by day and an amateur jeweler by night. This elusive little beauty's gonna become a masterpiece. I love how weird the mixture is for this. That special coin you got? It commemorates the Oracle's ascension. That guy was tossing them out to everyone. Must have picked them mm. up back in Niflheim. And speaking of freebies, here's one from me. Come back if you want to buy more. I doubt a souvenir like that could make its way into the hands of an ordinary citizen. Pretty much. It's our pocket change now. Let's learn from history. As promised, I'm in the process of securing your ferry tickets right now. Told you, I'm a man of integrity. 
Should be smooth sailing from here. So let me know when you're ready to ship out. Yeah. Smooth sailing. Sealing. Sailing. Well, must be pretty connected if he can pull some strings around an imperial embargo. Yeah. That okay. One artful artisan. Artful artisan. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> I'm trying to figure out if I want to just end the chapter now. Because it. Because as soon as I'm done with this chapter, I have to go into the next one pretty damn, like, fast. It's... Hang tight. I'm actually going to look real quick. Yeah, before chapter two is over, I've got an important battle ahead of me. So, we are actually quickly going to go and fill up on supplies real quick. Battle journey. Eh, whatever helps you sleep at night, I suppose. But yeah, so... Dun, dun, oh, knock this. Stop being tired, boy. You're too hot to be tired. <laughs> that was very interesting. Hawk just runs like a ninja. He really does. Like, he runs like he's trying to be a Naruto. Except they never quite got the arms and the back down. Never quite, quite got that. Hello and welcome. Hi. Alright, I'm gonna take, uh... Uh, Phoenix down. And... I'll take two elixirs, too, because... Probably would help me massively. Alright. So, I'm gonna cut this off here. I'm gonna go do a few errand things before I do anything else. I will come back momentarily and show you guys what I've done. Alright, I'm back for, uh, what it's worth. I actually ended up talking to Cindy. I came back, I did a few, uh, little requesty, uh, things. And then I ended up talking to Cindy again, and she wants to remodel the regalia into Type D to take your adventures off-road. So, yeah, we're gonna service the regalia. Okay, never mind. We're gonna change it to Type D. Yeah. So let's do it, cause that way I can go off roading. Well, here she is. Now y'all won't need to pay the roads. No, never mind. After all, limits were only made to be broken. <laughs> okay. Wait. This is a first. This is new. Regalia Type D is equipped with off-roading capabilities. Press, uh, press circle when the green indicator is let to perform a jump. Smart steering will activate at outposts and other areas and fit for driving. Then Type D's, the Type D is too heavy to push, so keep an eye on your gas tank. Oh boy, I haven't done this yet. This is new. All right, let's go. Ready for more? You bet. Let's hit it. <laughs> Oh, it looks so cool, though. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, wait. Oh, I didn't want to do that. No! Stop! Stop! Durability. Uh, I'm gonna hit the shop. Yeah. No! Up on everything. We can make room by leaving you behind. No, I want... I want to go. Um, okay. So, I did some, uh, things, and now we're gonna go and actually finish, uh, this mission and finish the first part. I just wanted to do a couple of extra things, um, because after this, things are gonna get a heck of a lot more, uh, random when things are actually gonna work for me. So, we'll see soon enough how that works out. <laughs> but this is the first time I'm seeing the regalia, uh, being able to do the off-roading thing. I didn't know that was actually a thing. I haven't been paying much attention in the past year to uh, Final Fantasy XV. Or not really, anyways. But, okay, so this will be interesting. Anyways. <laughs> I kind of want to see how the gas thing works in this. Huh. I like this, though. It's very fancy. Very fancy. And anyways, uh... <laughs> Yeah, I uh, finished a few things. I took a few uh, monster hunting requests. I am now up to the uh, level two rank in uh, hunting, which is cool, honestly. Uh, you need to do that as often as you can. Um, it, it's just gonna make it easier later on when you've got to, and it also can get you some sweet points and some extra cash while you're in the middle of doing stuff. Sorry, lady, you got in my way, rude. <laughs> I am a prince, goddammit. You guys are all gonna bend your wills to me. Man, it's hot. Then lose the jacket. <laughs> I love it. Then lose the jacket. 
And the funny thing is that, uh, whoever voices, uh, Gladio really has this deep voice that just reverberates through my entire head. It's freaking hilarious, granted. Alright, but anyways, yeah, so it's time to go, uh, visit, uh, one of our buddies here. Go visit Dino again. Yeah, because now that I'm finished, I actually wanted to do a few things. Once you proceed, you'll be unable to return for some time. Are you certain you wish to continue? Yeah. Okay. So, I gained like 600 experience. I did a few extra things. Good night! Oyasumi. Okay, but yeah, so... We got to fa we get to hang out at the fancy room, the case the case side the keyside cradle, which it if you look at it and you want to lodge there, it's actually ten thousand gil. But I also have other things to show, which I can show in a bit. <laughs> Ignis, you are getting all sassy looking. <laughs> oh, I am saving that one. That's a nice picture. <laughs> I did take a couple- I actually found a really good picture during this. Okay, but now into actual story mode. So, yeah, uh, we're gonna be going on a boat apparently. So yeah, let's go get married, guys! Come on, l l let's go get married. <laughs> Car audio. Play the albums you purchased. Yeah. Okay, wow, this is new. Oh, no, it's not. Well, maybe it is. I don't remember this part being in the original, but this is, uh, moments from Kingsglaive. So there's some story elements added into this. Basis of the story is, uh, in the entirety of Insomnia, I think it was mentioned before, is covered by a wall called the Crystal. It protected the entire city. We were going to sign a peace treaty with the other kingdom, Niflheim. That be, uh, Noctis' daddy, of course. But, um, some asshole, including something that looks like Sin, I forget what that is called. Me no, it, it's Ruby Weapon. It was like, in this game, they, in the movie, they had like a bunch of references. One of them is Ruby and Diamond Weapon from, uh, Seven, I believe. The one, Some of the extra. But yeah, so, basically, Niflheim is pretty much destroys the entire goddamn place. And kills, uh, King Regis. Yeah. This was not in the original version, so this was entirely... You had to watch King's Glaive first to understand this. So that's actually really good. I like that they added that. So, yeah. Because it would just cut straight to here, and you didn't know what happened unless you watched King's Glaive. So, good on ya, Final Fantasy. Thank you, Square, Square Enix. I'm so proud of Square Enix for listening to their fans. This is that really? I do have the movie King's Glaive, though, by the way. I do have it. I got it as a present from my ex last year for Christmas. Should be back any minute now. Yeah, but if you didn't watch King's Glaive when this first came out, you did not see that scene, and you were confused when you got here. <laughs> What's that look for? Um. It's an old. Your padre. Go padre and uh insomnia. Balls. What? Yeah. Do you have a joke? I need you to calm down so I can explain. I'm as calm as I'm gonna get. There was an attack. The Imperial Army has taken the Crown City. As treaty room tempers flared, blast lit the night sky. When the smoke about the citadel had cleared, the king was found dead. Oh no, wait. Hold on. We had no way of knowing. What? Knowing what? That the signing was last night. That insomnia. But the wedding! Altitia! I know. That was the plan. Yet the reports of the invasion are all the same. How could every headline in the kingdom be wrong? It isn't. That's the thing. Lies. Noctis had had serious anime eyes there for a moment, by the way. We're thought to be dead. Can't be sure until we, see it with our own. we are actually thought to be dead, which I know hasn't been explained yet, but... 
not be safe for us here. Exactly. Turn back. So yeah, um, anger, flaring temperature, or tempers, it's not temperatures. Yeah, so anyways, this is the reason I wanted to do a little extra stuff, because now, while waiting for the boats to go out and all ill tidings arrive, the headlines say Insomnia has fallen and King Regis is dead, but the four cannot be sure until they've seen it with their own eyes. In search of the truth, they make their way back to the Crown City. Alas... It ain't gonna be that easy if the crown city of Insomnia fell. Yeah, Niflheim are kind of assholes. <laughs> Best way I can say that is Niflheim is a bit of an asshole uh, kingdom, in a way. But yeah, we were like the only good country. I can all, I, I, that's, I guess, the way, the best way to put it is we were like the good country for it. And like, the thing was, we were gonna sign a peace treaty so everyone could come together, but Niflheim had other plans. And in King's Glaive, you find out the guy who was standing behind King Regis, I forget what his name is, it was a dumb name. I thought it was uh, the, one of the guys who's coming up, it's not. Um, he betrayed them, and he was like an inside man for Niflheim to kill, uh, to kill the king. But also in King's Glaive, you also have to know, King's Glaive is actually the people who protected the king. You have seriously outdone yourself. Yeah, I never thought I'd see the day. <laughs> Yet, here we are. Well, what are we waiting for? I hope What are we waiting for? Okay. A lot of good hoping's gonna do. You mustn't lose faith. Really? Can faith stop a fleet of Imperial dreadnoughts? Just give it a rest. My old man had plenty of faith. Enough. The Empire lied. They betrayed us. Conjecture gets us nowhere. Yeah, well, so you would think a bunch of old assholes are not looking out for the good of everybody else. They're all looking out for the good of themselves. Yep. And that is why I wanted to get several things done first. Oh. Look at the size of those things. Imperial dreadnoughts. They transport soldiers, namely the Magitek infantry. And they are the, the fucking Robots. worst. They produced humanoid weapons of warfare, to be more precise. Look like Robot soldiers, basically. And they are the worst. They are literally my least favorite thing in this whole game. And you will see why, because they get very, very annoying. Okay, yeah. So they've set up an inspection point. If oh. the road ahead's blocked, then we find a way around. Yeah. Those guys are all robots, by the way. Yeah, so, heading to the Insomnia, we're gonna climb the hill overlooking Insomnia. Cause fuck the border, it's fuck border patrol, we're illegal. We're illegal aliens here, guys. Getting back, it's like sneaking back into your own house. Yeah, that kind of thing. Alright, well we got one AP for that. There ought to be a decent vantage point up ahead. Yeah. So anyways. Yeah, from now on... The game is about to get serious from here. Well, uh, as serious as it gets, I guess you can say. Yeah, they are. Want to take them out? Oh yeah. Those scrap heaps are gonna wish they had a treaty to protect them. And these guys have fucking guns. Problem is, these guys have guns. Their snipers are the friggin' worst. Yeah. I don't like Imperial Sol Oh, he picked up a rare coin. Okay. Neat. Oh, ho, ho. 
Yeah. By the way, I've also noticed that using these a lot actually is very fucking helpful. Unfortunately, I'm in fucking stasis right now, which blows. Yeah. And these guys don't even, like, wait until we get to snipers. Like, the actual snipers. Yeah, these guys are like baby toys in comparison to some of these motherfuckers. I hate them. I'm not okay with this. I'm not okay. <laughs> my father's dead. My city's in ruins. It's raining. My shoes are wet. My socks are wet. There are things flying in the sky. I'm friggin' terrified. <laughs> we should seek a vantage point. The hill. Yeah, these guys, these motherfucking guys with the swords are fucking awful. And don't worry, there are gonna be points where you have to fight them alone. Yay! Yeah, I'm not a fan of some of these. While the battling is fun in this game, I don't want to fight, like, robotic soldiers. I want to fight monsters, you know? Weapons marked with a plus can be remodeled. Take your arms to Hammerhead and ask Sid to upgrade them. Yeah, which we have to do later. Uh, not right now, though, because we're in the middle of a battle. We're looking for a vantage point right now, guys. Jesus. I can't go to Sid right now, guys! It's just like, warp back to the car. Hey, we're going back to Hammerhead! Hey, do you want to help us upgrade my car? How about my weapon? Yeah. Also, if you haven't watched King's Glaive yet, this whole bridge and this whole area is a part of a massive, like, fight. Fuck. No, this is not happy. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, so Niflheim and all their magic motherfuckings. Yeah, the main thing is that Niflheim was massively technological while Lucius is mainly magic, so with no way back in. Makes sense. Makes sense? Are you serious? What about any of this makes sense? The news just told me I'm dead, along with my father and Luna. Listen. Heading out to Hammerhead. <sighs> About the king. It's true. Oh. Yeah. If you're looking for the whole truth, you know where to find me. Get moving. You know the password. Monkey butts. No. But seriously, this actually is pretty sad. And until I watched Kingsclave, I didn't understand why. Also. Core is a badass, and I like him. Go to Hammerhead, guys. Dead. And it really sucks. Like, really sucks. So, yeah, that's the first chapter. Only took me six episodes. This is getting better. But I know I also cut out a shit ton of stuff, so... Alright, we're level 14 now. Which is pretty friggin' high for our first chapters, but yeah. Um... Very classy looking man there, Agnes. Mm -hmm. Alright, anyways. Um... Yeah! So, welcome to the world of Final Fantasy XV, 
guys. Hey. All right, anyways, we're going to cut the episode off here for now. We'll begin in the next one. So I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Please like, comment, subscribe for more videos like this every other day. Please, please, please.